Hi friends, this is Amlan Devnath, your instructor for today's class. In today's video, we will learn about inheritance. So what is inheritance? Inheritance is a feature using which we can use the functions of a class in another class. We do not need to write the functions multiple times. Not only functions, but also the variables, the values, instance variables, whatever is there, all those can be used into another class. A class is a blueprint, right? That blueprint, whole set of blueprint, you can inherit to another class. So that the new class is a compilation of its own details along with the details of the previous class from which everything has been inherited. Let me show you a simple example to understand how inheritance works. Think of a scenario. We have created a robot and we have added the functionality to work. It will just simply work. So let us first create the robot one. And we will be adding the functionality to work. So def work. So this robot has a functionality to work. So let us return the value to a variable and print that one. Task equal to robot one dot work. Print task. If it works properly, then we should be getting I can work. Yes, we can see our first robot is ready who can work. Now, let us create a second robot. This robot should be able to jog. Class robot 2. We are adding the functionality to jog. I can jog. Let us also create a task for this robot to we can see robot 2 can jog. Now this robot 2 who can jog should also have the functionality to work right. If it can run fast it should be able to work slowly right. So it can inherit all the features of the robot 1. So how to do that one? We have to just pass the first class robot 1. Now, robot2 has inherited all the properties of robot1 and it can do all the functionalities which robot1 already could do. For that one, let us create the task3. Task3 would be the task for robot2, but the functionalities of the robot1. What is the functionality of robot1? It is to work. So if it could inherit properly, it can easily work. Let us see. Task 3. Great. You can see our robot 2 is calling the function of robot 1 and it could do the task. So our robot 2 can also work now. In this way, inheritance works. Clear? Now, before discussing anything more on how inheritance works, let us discuss 
on what are the type of inheritance we can see in our programming. Let me create a comment box. Types of inheritance. What is the first inheritance? It's a single inheritance, which just you have seen in the previous example. Another one is multi-level. Then we have multiple. Fourth is hierarchical. And the last one is hybrid. Now, we have already seen what is single inheritance. Single inheritance is just one class is inheriting the details of another class, one to one. Multi level is when a class is inheriting the properties of another class which has already inherited from another class. Three. So it can be three or more. What is multiple inheritance? Multiple inheritance is when one class is inheriting the functionalities or details of multiple classes. What is hierarchical inheritance? It is that type of inheritance in which multiple classes inherit from one class. And at last, we have hybrid inheritance. Hybrid inheritance is just a combination of more than one type of inheritance. If you are using single and multi-level, it is hybrid. If you are using multi-level and multiple, then it's hybrid, etc. Let me now show you an example of multi-level inheritance. It's nothing but just addition of another level of class who can inherit the first one with the help of the intermediate one. Let us create a third robot who can run class robot 3 who can inherit robot 2 it has functionality to run now if you see robot 3 is inheriting robot 2 and our robot 2 is inheriting robot 1 so in this way robot 3 should also have the functionality to work this is called multi level inheritance let us prove it task 4 equal to robot 3 and it should be able to have the functionality of first robot print task 4 let me clear all this let us now run so you can see our robot 3 can have the function of first robot and it is able to work so this is multi level inheritance so this is clear the remaining inheritances i will discuss in our next video so stay tuned and happy thank you